the ominous black helicopter has become synonymous with the phrase conspiracy theory. These unmarked strange aircraft seem to appear suddenly in the most suspicious of circumstances, and no one knows who sent them or what agency they represent. Whenever something out of the ordinary happens on this planet, a formation of black helicopters never seems far behind. When police departments from Denver to Westminster started tweeting about loud, low-flying choppers last night, you know they were getting calls, and so were we, from people like Maggie. I would hear uh, a very loud machine, sounded like a very low-flying aircraft, and I would rush to the front door to see if I could see it. I never did. Although black helicopters are heavily associated with UFO sightings, they are perhaps much more believable than the presence of extraterrestrials. A visit from an alien species is one thing, but the existence of a shadowy, top-secret military agency? Well, that's something almost everyone agrees is a possibility. In fact, this is one of the most popular conspiracy theories in America. These attack helicopters were filmed during the siege in Waco, Texas. The small one has some of the highest firepower of any helicopter. In the meantime, the media and government disinformation specialists were telling people that the black helicopters don't exist, and people who claimed to have seen them were crazy. Black helicopters seem to arrive out of nowhere, possibly carrying nameless agents in black suits. These agents might be targeting a computer hacker, a researcher on the verge of a major discovery, or someone who has seen a little too much of the truth. But what do we really know about these black helicopters? What are some possible explanations for their existence? Why do they suddenly appear out of nowhere in our skies? Let's find out. One million people entering a surveillance camera capturing the unidentified flying saucers. The world is going to end. Black helicopters first began appearing in large numbers during the 1970s. At this point, they were mostly linked with cattle mutilations throughout various rural areas. The helicopters seemed to show up at the precise moment farmers discovered that their livestock had been killed in strange ways. This resulted in two things. First, the farmers immediately associated the black helicopters with UFOs. Their logic was that the black helicopters were showing up to investigate the presence of UFOs. Seemingly, proving that the government was aware of this and took it seriously. Secondly, concerned citizens ordered the government to conduct an official investigation into the appearance of black helicopters. But despite the fact that numerous people had seen them, the FAA concluded that no such flights existed. Now the FAA might have been simply lying. On the other hand, these black helicopters were likely unknown to even the highest echelons of government. So when the FAA said there was no record of these strange aircraft ever taking flight, they could have been telling the truth. Public awareness of this phenomenon remained quite low throughout the 80s, but in 1995, the concept went mainstream after Congresswoman Helen Chenoweth Hage voiced her opinion that black helicopters were real. She even held hearings on the subject. Most people simply laughed at her, but the cat was out of the bag. People started asking questions. What were these black helicopters that this congresswoman was talking about? Awareness of black helicopters arguably reached its peak in the 90s, and people began to spot these aircraft in other nations, most notably the United Kingdom. This theory became even more well known after the Ruby Ridge standoff, during which several unmarked black helicopters were used by various government agencies. They were also used in the Waco Massacre and other similar debacles. Recently, formations of black helicopters have also been spotted throughout Canada in places like Toronto and British Columbia.
So if the NWO really is using helicopters to carry out top secret operations, then what kind of aircraft are they using? There are a number of possibilities, and in all likelihood, the helicopters are being constantly upgraded and improved. Many eyewitnesses state that the black helicopters are eerily silent, barely making a sound as they move through the air. Skeptics laugh at this, claiming that a helicopter is virtually incapable of stealth operations, since the rotor blades are inherently loud, making these aircraft easy to hear. They say that if the NWO needed a stealthy mode of transport, a helicopter would be the worst possible option. But stealth helicopters do exist, and they've been around since the Vietnam era. During this period, the CIA used a special type of helicopter called the Hughes 500P, also known as the Quiet One. CIA agent Don Stevens spoke about the incredible stealth capabilities of this helicopter, stating, quote, It was absolutely amazing how quiet those copters were. I'd stand on the landing pad and try to figure out the first time I could hear it, and which direction it was coming from. I couldn't place it until it was 1 to 200 yards away. There is no helicopter today that is as quiet. Remember, this was many decades ago during the Vietnam War. Since then, this stealth technology has probably been developed and perfected even further. Interestingly enough, one of the key functions of this ultra-quiet stealth helicopter was to transport CIA agents throughout Vietnam and Southeast Asia. During the 90s, a new type of helicopter called the RAH-66 Comanche was developed, and this was apparently six times quieter than any other helicopter in existence. The Boeing Sikorsky Comanche. It's been touted as the U.S. Army's new quarterback for the digital battlefield. Comanche combines stealth, agility, and firepower with super sensors and rapid data transmission technology. Although this project was ultimately deemed a failure, it showed how fast this technology was advancing. When Osama bin Laden's compound was raided in 2011, Navy SEALs used heavily modified UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters that boasted significant stealth capabilities. The SEALs were forced to destroy one of the helicopters when it failed to take off, as they didn't want this top secret technology to become known to the public. The Pentagon has denied the existence of these helicopters, even when shown photos of the particularly destroyed UH-60. Of course, many skeptics point out that various military and law enforcement groups do in fact use helicopters on a regular basis, and many of these organizations choose to paint their helicopters black. This has the obvious advantage of making them more difficult to spot at night. Skeptics claim that there is nothing out of the ordinary about seeing a formation of black unmarked helicopters flying through the sky without any apparent reason. They say we should just trust our government. Most people only see the aircraft itself, and few have ever laid eyes upon the crew inside. But with that said, there are a number of interesting theories about who might be riding in these black helicopters. The crew of black helicopters are divided into two categories, the pilots and the agents. The pilots wear black uniforms and rarely leave the helicopter, while the agents are perhaps more commonly known as the men in black. These individuals have been linked with the CIA and other shadowy government organizations, some of which are completely unknown to us. According to the theories, these agents serve not only our elected government, but rather a group of elites, the puppet masters, if you will. These agents appear whenever someone or something poses a threat to the New World Order, although they are certainly capable of taking action using concealed weapons. Eyewitnesses state that they quickly vanish when local law enforcement arrives. Some believe that the black helicopter crews have all been brainwashed by advanced CIA techniques that were possibly developed as a result of Operation MKUltra. Some even state that these individuals have been given false memories and have no recollection of their previous lives. Others still believe that the helicopters have no pilots whatsoever. We do know that helicopters today 
can operate with autonomous guidance systems without a flight crew. So what if black helicopters are real? Then why do they exist? There are a number of theories to consider. Perhaps the most common belief is that these black helicopters are tasked with responding to UFO sightings, perhaps covering up their existence or simply investigating them. Crews may disembark and speak with eyewitnesses, perhaps abducting them or altering their memories somehow. Others say that these aircraft simply represent the military arm of the New World Order. Whenever someone poses a threat to this shadowy group of elites, they mobilize their black helicopters and quickly neutralize the target. The target could be a hacker who has uncovered government secrets, or perhaps an investigator or YouTuber who got a little too close to the truth. It could be someone who has seen a UFO, or perhaps an individual that the NWO just doesn't like. Whatever the case may be, these individuals are tracked down by the black helicopters and abducted, or so the story goes. What happens after the abduction is anyone's guess, although some assumedly meet their end. Some believe that the abductees are subjected to MK Ultra mind control treatments, making them believe that they were actually taken by aliens. Others believe that black helicopters are simply the first sign of an emerging one-world government organization that knows no borders and has no national allegiances. The first wave, if you will. These researchers claim that one day, black helicopters and the shadowy organizations they represent will appear in much greater numbers and they will be used to control global populations to establish a one-world government. There's a reason the concept of black helicopters is so popular. When you think about it, this is clearly one of the most believable conspiracy theories out there. While some might struggle to get behind the existence of UFOs or chemtrails, the possibility of a top-secret, unmarked helicopter is much easier to swallow. The question is simple. What exactly are they doing? Perhaps we will never truly know the answer to that question. But one thing is clear. If you ever spot a black helicopter, you might want to run. <laughs> <laughs>